The Vietnam War had a tremendous impact on both soldiers and their families. A new book is highlighting 31 Vietnam veterans and their stories of life before, during, and after Vietnam. Dr. Steve Feimer and Jean Murphy are here to share how a new book gives vets from the Plains the chance to open up about how their lives were impacted by the Vietnam War. Thank you both for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Thank well, you. Steve, I'll start with you. What was the inspiration for getting this book out? Well, I was photographing at a veterans event, and uh, this old boy came up to me and asked if I could take slides and turn them into prints, and I told him I could. I said, what do you have slides of? He said, well, I was a door gunner in a gunship, and these are slides that I took in, uh, in Vietnam. And uh, so the next day he came in, and he had two old plastic tobacco bags full of uh, slides, and uh, I scanned them for him, and then he said, well, uh, I'm going to ask my parole officer if I can get into one of your classes. And he said uh, that he got into a gunfight out West River and shot a guy and did 13 years up on the hill. And I thought, wow, this guy's got uh, an interesting story. I wonder how many more are out there. And so uh, I thought I'd do six vets and have it take me six months. But then uh, as I talked to one that vet, they'd say, oh, you've got to go get so-and-so's story. And so it, one thing led to another. and. Nine years later and 31 vets later, uh, we finished the book. Was it hard to get that many vets to, to get in on this book? Uh, not at all. I only had two vets that, uh, that just didn't want to talk about it. But uh, for a lot of them, it was, I think they're getting to the point in their life where if they don't get their story out now, it's not going to come out. And so they were, they were willing to share a lot of these stories uh, with us, and some of them are first time they've ever talked about it. And speaking of veterans with stories, Gene, how was it to be involved with this book? Well, it was, I mean, to me, it was, it was interesting, yeah. cause maybe because of Steve, but I guess the different stories and the 31 veterans, I know quite a few of them. Uh, matter of fact, uh, Lyle Bowes, the guy that actually carried me out of the jungles, uh, is in the book. And um, I mean, to me, it was just super uh, to read the different stories, because everybody had a different story and a different take of Vietnam than... Uh, than say myself. Were there a lot of similarities between the stories that you had read in the book and with yours? So, some, but then some weren't. Some were really opposite. I mean, I served on a four-man LERP team in uh, a line company in, uh, in the central highlands of Vietnam. So it was, to me, hilly, mountainous country. Wow. And um, did you have a strategy uh, with getting the Vietnam veterans to talk for this book? Well, um, it was really to create a, an atmosphere in which they didn't feel threatened uh, and just to sit down and, uh, and just let them talk. Uh, I think you've really got to be a, a good listener more than a, a good interviewer. And so for a lot of them, it just spilled right out. There were some interviews that were difficult for them to get through. My last interview, I think it took us uh, uh, five or six hours to get through it because the individual kept breaking down and we'd have to stop and, and restart. But, uh, but we did get through it and, and glad to have him in the book. And what may be one of the reasons it'd be so difficult to get out some of these stories from veterans? Well, I think that it just dredges up uh, the feelings of, uh, of buddies that were left behind, uh, buddies that aren't coming home, uh, things that happened uh, to their families why they were in Vietnam and, and they couldn't impact the family in a positive way. So uh, just a, a lot of those kinds of issues uh, that they really dealt with by kept keeping them buried. Now, Gene, how was it different sharing these stories with someone that you've experienced it with as opposed to someone who may have never been there? I mean, I guess because of the author, Steve, I mean, it was, to me, easy. And I mean, and uh, the different questions he had for us uh, I guess I felt very fortunate that I always say the good Lord let me live and, and with the help of Lyle Bowes that I made it out of Vietnam or uh, after being wounded we laid for or we were pinned down for 14 hours. Wow. So it was just a long night or uh, yeah, so I mean to me it was easy um, to, to, to I guess to share my story with, with Steve. Okay. Now, what, Steve, why do you think it's so important for people who weren't there to have access uh, to this book and these stories? Well, I think that, you know, for, for many folks, it, it just kind of dredges up the idea that, you know, while this war was 50 years ago, we're still seeing a lot of the same kind of 
uh, effects of, of war on soldiers that are that have been in Iraq and Afghanistan in a, in a first Gulf War. But some things just don't change. Uh, that uh, PTSD now, which we're very conscious of, back in the Vietnam day, uh, there was no word for PTSD. It was all shell shock or battle fatigue. Um, also, the uh, the latent effect of Agent Orange and what that has done for or to a lot of these uh, returning soldiers. And what do you think that readers of this book will enjoy the most about it? To well, me, well, either or. <laughs> well, to me, the different stories and uh, and I mean and and some of the detailed stuff. I mean, that was my uh, take of the book, and just very interesting, you know. And, and again, if you I guess if you weren't there. It kind of tells the different things that happen in, per se, the jungle, or say, the nurse. I mean, I guess I look at the nurses and what they went through, and, and it was 24-7 for them. Mm -hmm. uh, Steve? Well, I think that, uh, that one of the, the real takeaways from the book is the fact that uh, these are not all frontline battle stories, but stories about you know, people who were in the rear that were supporting those in the, in the front, that everybody had a, a particular job to do that, that really made the whole thing work for folks. And um, as I said, it's, it's not just the guys in the front, but the ones that would support them. The, you know, the, uh, the dust-off teams that would come in and, and pick these guys up. Even, you know, the people that, uh, that fueled the helicopters. Everybody had an important part in it. And I have time for one more question. Where would people find this book? Well, uh, we're selling them uh, through the DAV here in Sioux Falls and at Tiger Art Gallery in Vermeer, South Dakota. And then we have a website that we're selling them uh, through the website. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Steve and Gene. Thank you very much. Thank you for thank having you. us. Thank you.